Texas show. And we're on the road once again as Mike follows the New York Giants and New England Patriots to Indianapolis for Super Bowl 46. Radio Row has brought us many great memories over the years. Join us all week long as Mike will help to make some more as former players, coaches, and celebrities relive the past and try to predict the future. Without any further delay, we send it to our man behind the mic, Mike Francesa. Coming to you live from Indianapolis again and brought to you across the country uh, via the Yes Network. This is Mike's on Francesa on the fan on a football Friday, our last football Friday of the season. Coming to you from what is a very busy Marriott Hotel in Indianapolis. Uh, so it's actually always crowded on a Friday, and you have a lot of, you know, uh, name people around here on Friday. Plus, they've allowed fans to buy their way in this year. They've been very liberal with the day passes, and they've allowed fans to buy their way in for $25. So it is going to be a madhouse here today. We have a jam-packed show, as you would expect, on our last Football Friday of the year. Uh, and again, we'll see you Sunday with the NFL Now. The first word on a uh, Super Sunday with Phil Sims. You'll hear from Tom Coughlin, all that coming up on our uh, last show of our 25th season of the NFL Now. Uh, in Indianapolis today, on this Football Friday, we'll have Aikman and Glazer, as we usually do on Fridays. We'll have picks, obviously for the Super Bowl, although I think you know where I'm going. Uh, but let me start there. There are two things here about the Super Bowl. Number one, I wish the Giants would hush up. Now, the Giants are done talking. We're done now. Okay. And now they're into, uh, you know, the time where they're done between now and the game. There's no more talk. There's no more not anything. But the Giants have been so openly confident, so maybe even overconfident, and, and I don't want to hear the Giants talking about Tom Brady like he's some, you know, you know, bum off the street. I mean, like Brady is worried, uh, Brady uh, can see him panicking, I got Brady this, but be quiet. You know what? The Pats have done no talking here. They've almost assumed the role of the underdog. This is a very odd game. If you poll the people here, I bet you 70% think the Giants are going to win, plus the Giants are a three-point underdog. This is a bizarre situation in that the Pats are a three-point favorite and have been since you know the second day when it went from three and a half to three, and it'll stay there because that's what usually happens. Uh, but the Giants are the overwhelming public choice.